Hello everyone, I am Bella, a third year medical student. In this video, I will be sharing with you my experience of scoring 62 points in the IMAT exam 2021 and providing tips and tricks on how you can also score high and pass the exam. I am currently studying at University of Milan. I took the IMAT exam in 2021 and achieved a score of 62 points. I have always been interested in the field of medicine and my passion for it has been my driving force. As a medical student, I have always believed that education is a key to success and hard work, dedication and proper guidance are the three important pillars that can make one's dream come true. The IMAT exam is an entrance exam for students who want to study medicine in Italy. The exam consists of multiple choice questions from four subjects, biology, chemistry, physics and mathematics, including a section from general knowledge and logical reasoning part. It is a highly competitive exam and students need to score high marks to get admitted to their preferred universities. Now let's talk about how I scored 62 points in the IMAT exam. Here are some tips and tricks that I use to prepare for the exam. Number one is to understand the exam format. Before starting the preparation, it is essential to understand the format of the exam. It is important to have a clear understanding of the exam format as it will help you to prepare accordingly. Number two is to create a study schedule. Creating a study schedule is crucial as it will help you cover all the topics in time. I created a study schedule of four months with a focus on studying four to five hours every day. The study schedule was divided into four parts. The first month was of understanding the concepts and formulas of all the subjects. I made sure to read the textbooks thoroughly and make notes of important points. The second month was of solving practice papers of all the subjects and taking mock tests. I started solving practice papers to get familiar with the exam pattern, question types, and time management. I also took a few mock tests to evaluate my performance. The third month was of revision of week areas and focusing on time management. I focused on revising my week areas and practiced time management by solving papers within the given time limit. The fourth month was of solving previous year's papers and giving final mock tests. In the last month, I solved previous year papers to get an idea of the types of questions asked in the exam. I also took final mock tests to evaluate my preparation and improve my week areas. Now, the third tip is to practice previous year's papers. Practicing previous year's papers is essential to gain a deeper understanding of the exam pattern, question types, and time management. Solving previous year papers also help you to identify the topics you need to focus on and the ones you are already proficient in. You can find these papers online or from preparation books and it is recommended to solve at least five previous year's papers for each subject. By doing so, you will not only gain confidence in your preparation but also increase your chances of scoring well in the actual exam. The tip 4 is to take mock tests. Taking mock tests is one of the most effective ways to evaluate your preparation and identify areas that need improvement. Mock tests simulate the actual exam environment and help you understand the time constraints and pressure that come with it. I took at least 2 mock tests per week in the last 2 months of my preparation and it helped me to gain confidence and reduce exam anxiety. After each mock test, it is essential to analyze the results and understand the mistakes made. This analysis helps you identify your weak areas and allow you to focus on them during the remaining preparation period. Now the fifth tip is to use flashcards and mind maps. Flashcards and mind maps are powerful tools that aid in memorizing important points, formulas and concepts. I made flashcards for each subject and they proved to be helpful during my revision. Flashcards are easy to carry around and you can revise them anytime and anywhere. Mind maps are an excellent way to visualize complex formulas and concepts, making them easier to remember. By using these tools, you can increase the efficiency of learning and retain information more effectively. The sixth tip is to join a study group. 
joining a study group can be beneficial as it allows you to study doubts and share knowledge with others. I joined a study group of 4 to 5 students and we had regular discussions on difficult topics. These discussions help me to gain different perspectives and approach to solve problems. In addition, it was always motivating to study with others who have similar goals and aspirations. The tip 7 is to stay consistent. Staying consistent throughout the preparation period is crucial. It is better to study for 2 hours every day than to study for 10 hours in one day and not to study for the next 5 days. Consistency helps you to retain information and maintain focus. By studying consistently, you also avoid the last minute cramming which can lead to stress and anxiety. Now let's talk about some additional tips and strategies that can help you score well on the IMAT exam. Tip 1 is to read the questions carefully. It is crucial to read the questions carefully before selecting an answer. Make sure you understand what the question is asking and what the correct answer would be. Tip number 2 is time management. Time management is a key to success on the IMAT exam. Make sure you keep track of the time and allocate sufficient time to each section. Tip number 3 is to practice with speed and accuracy. Practice solving questions quickly and accurately. You can use online practice tests and time drills to improve your speed and accuracy. Tip 4 is to use online resources. There are numerous online resources available to help you prepare for the IMAT exam. You can use online study guides, video tutorials and practice exams to supplement your studies. Tip 5 is to stay motivated. Staying motivated throughout the preparation period is crucial. Set goals and reward yourself for achieving them. Surround yourself with positive and supportive people who will encourage and motivate you. Tip 6 is to take care of yourselves. Do not neglect your physical and mental health during the preparation period. Make sure you get enough sleep, exercise regularly and eat a healthy diet. Taking care of yourself will help you stay focused and motivated. Tip 7 is to practice positive visualization. Visualization is a powerful technique that can help you to stay motivated and focused on your goals. Visualize yourself achieving a high score on IMT exam and imagine how it will feel. In conclusion, preparing for the IMAT exam requires hard work, dedication and proper guidance. Remember to create a study schedule, understand the exam format, practice previous year questions, take mock tests, use flashcards and mind maps, join a study group and stay consistent in your preparation. IMAT exam is a challenging but manageable exam that requires careful preparation and dedicated efforts. By following these tips and strategies, you can increase your chances of scoring well and achieving your goal of studying medicine in Italy. Remember to stay focused, stay motivated and never give up on your dreams. Good luck.